This session is for OCRFP2. It's on numerical methods and we're looking at the first question from January 2010. So in the question uh, we're told that we have a function f of x which is x squared minus sine x and in part 1 we're asked to use the iteration xn plus 1 is equal to the square root of sine x to the n with x1 equals 0 0.875 and it's to be used to find the real root alpha of the equation, f of x equals naught. We're asked to find x2, x3 and x4, giving the answers correct to six decimal places. And then in part two, it's about errors. We're told that e of n is defined by alpha minus x of n. And given the value of alpha correct to six decimal places, we're asked to find e3 and e4, and hence, estimate the derivative g of alpha, given that g of x is this function root sine x. So let's start by looking then at part 1. So in part 1 we are using x of n plus 1 equals the square root of sine x n. We're told that x1 is equal to 0.875. So all we have to do is to substitute that in to find x2. So x2 will be the square root of sine of 0.875. So just make sure you have your calculator set in radians. So we will get 0.87 6096. And it says to do this to six decimal places, so we just need to be careful. You probably could then be just using your answer button uh, on your calculator to find x3, which is 0 0.876496, and then x4, which is 0 0.876642. So we have just two marks for doing that and the way the marks that are allocated is that you get a B mark for any one correct uh, using radians and then another mark for getting them all correct. So B1 for one mark for one of them correct and then another for getting them all correct. And then when we move on to part two, so in part two what we're actually given here, again we have e of n is equal to alpha minus xn and we're given the value of alpha here. So e of 3 is going to be alpha minus x of 3. So we've got x of 3 so we can subtract that from our value of alpha and we'll get 0.00023 and then we've got to find e of 4 which will be alpha minus x4 so again we're using the value we've got over here for x4 and the value of alpha we do that subtraction then we'll get 0.00 quite small numbers, four noughts, a4. So the function is this square root of sine x and we should know that the ratio of e to the r plus one, oh, uh, e to the r, is approximately equal to g dot of alpha. So that's the relationship that you really need. So in our particular case, then g dot of alpha, the derivative of alpha g, is going to be approximately equal to e4 over e3, which equals 0 0.365217. And we would probably give our answer here in th as three significant figures doesn't actually specify. So the derivative of g at alpha would be 0 0.365 to three significant figures. So in terms of the marks for that bit, 
So as long as you've got one of these subtractions here from your answers, you've got a B1 mark. Once you use this relationship to divide the ratio E4 over E3, you got a method mark and then you got an accuracy mark at the end for your answer. So don't forget that if you want to access further revision videos then these are available by going to the Further Math Support Programme website and following the link.